In the Dowling Lab, we study the physiology and development of the retina in zebrafish. In order to determine whether or not zebrafish mutants that are unable to detect motion can detect light and are not blind, we test their visual motor response, or VMR. To do this, we collect zebrafish at about four days post-fertilization, place them in 96 well plates, prepare a suitable imaging rig, align the video tracking software with the plate, and then track the motor response of the fish following transitions from light to dark, or dark to light, which is what we call the VMR. Hi, I'm Farida Imran from the laboratory of John Dowling and the Department of Molecular and Cellular Biology at Harvard University. And I'm Jason Rio. I'm from Alexander Shear's lab, also in the Molecular and Cellular Biology Department at Harvard University. Today we will show you the visual motor response in zebrafish to light increments and decrements. So let's get started. To begin the visual motor response assay, first grow wild type zebrafish larvae under a dark light cycle at 28 degrees Celsius until at least 4 days post fertilization. Our typical light dark cycle is 14 hours of lights on starting at 9 a.m. and 10 hours of lights off starting at 11 p.m. For the best behavioral results, avoid overcrowding the larvae. We usually keep no more than 50 larvae in a single petri dish. After five days post-fertilization, we transfer zebrafish to a 96 well plate with 650 microliter well size in order to give larvae large swimming room. Using a plastic transfer pipette,